Hello everyone, my name is Evan McNair and this is the Windows version of the guide to MLA formatting in Microsoft Word. I'm running Windows 7 using Microsoft Word version 2010. And let's just hop right into it. Uh, first thing you want to do, number one, type your paper. Okay? So just, bam, look, I'm done. Huh. No, it is not in English. Uh, don't try to read it. Type it in single space. Notice it's not double spaced. And the transition from one paragraph to the next is just one strike of the return key, not two. Just, just one. This is two. This is one. Use one. Once you have your paper typed, double check in the page layout section to be sure that your margins are set to normal, one inch on all sides. Another thing to keep in mind while you're typing your paper is that you can check down here to see the number of words that you have. You don't actually have to count them manually. That would be terrible. The next thing you want to do is double check the font. Right now it's set to Calibri. You can use Calibri or you can use Times New Roman. If you need to change the font, just press Control A to select all. Go up to the font drop down box. You can scroll and search for the font that you need or just start typing it and it'll find it for you. Hit enter and it will adjust the font as you have specified. It should be 12 points. No more, no less. And as I stated before, there should only be one return, not two, between paragraphs. The very next thing you want to do, hit enter once more, and begin to insert the title information, beginning with your name. I'm going to use the randomly generated name, Sally Frost. Don't know who that is, but she speaks a different language. Hit enter one time. Type in the instructor's name. Hit enter once more. Type in the class. Not the social class, just the academic course that you're writing the paper for. Then type in the date in this format. The day, space, the month, spelled out, space, the year. So, the day, digit, space, the month, spelled completely out, space, the four-digit year. Hit enter one more time. And go right up here and hit the center button. This will align the text to the center, where you can place the title for the essay. Looking good so far. The next thing we want to do is go down here to the end of our paper and insert a page break. You can do that by clicking the Insert tab and clicking Page Break. Easy. Once you create your page break, you'll hit the center key again, the center button again, and type in works cited. Hit enter once more, and then align the text to the left again. Then insert your sources. Once you've inserted your sources, select only the sources, click the view tab, and if necessary, check the ruler box. This will allow you to grab this bottom hanging indent tab and drag it a half an inch to the right. In the area that you have selected, this will cause everything other than the top line of each paragraph to be indented a half an inch. This is how you distinguish one source from the other sources. So here's one source, here is the second source, here's the third source, and here's the fourth source. So again, you distinguish them by their indentation. Alright, we are almost finished. Next thing you want to do is double click 
up here in the header area. You are now in the header interface. Click the Home tab if necessary. Click the Align Text to the Right button. And then click the Insert tab. We are going to be inserting a page number at the top of the page. And we'll be doing plain number three. Type in your last name and then hit the space bar one time. Then double click outside of the header area. And that's how you insert a header. The page numbers that we inserted will automatically continue page 2, page 3. And you don't have to worry about manually typing in your page numbers. If you go to the top of the page and insert something like this, it is incorrect. This is not inside the header. This is inside the body. And if you do it this way, you have to do it manually for every single page. And that is incredibly inefficient. This is the header above this line. This is the body below this line. You can see it just continues on automatically. So do not do this ever. All right, now that the paper is properly formatted, press Control A to select all the text. And then in the Home tab, select this button right here line and paragraph spacing. Select 2.0, that is double spaced. So now your paper is correctly formatted and double spaced. Another thing to point out is, since we properly set the header and page numbers, when we double spaced it, naturally it used up more pages. So on this new page, the header is already there. And if we go up here and start typing and use up more pages, the header and page numbers will automatically show up where they need to show up. And that's it for this lesson of MLA formatting in Microsoft Word 2010.